Good morning and welcome to Daily Devotionals with Athena. I am Athena and I am coming to you today from my home in Pegs, Oklahoma. I do appreciate you being here. Um, I do hope you like, subscribe, share my videos. Let's get the Word of God out there, please. Today we're going to talk about what is God like? And our reading is going to come from Hebrews 1, 1 through 10. Alright. So, what is God like? Hebrews 1, 1 through 10. In the past, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he made the universe. The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven so he became as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is superior to theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have become your father. Or again, I will be his father and he will be my son. And again, when God brings his firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. In speaking of the angels, he says, he makes his angels winds, his servants flames of fire. But about the sun, he says, your throne, O God, will last forever and ever. And righteousness will be the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. He also says, In the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will roll them up like a robe. Like a garment they will be changed. But you remain the same. And your years will never end. Alright. God the Son. These opening lines establish... Jesus Christ as the one through whom God now speaks to the human race. In Old Testament times, the Jewish people relied on the prophets to tell what God had to say. Here, the author, the author of Hebrews states that God's most recent revelations come through his Son. The Son has made, is made heir to all things and is creator of the universe. Such statements lead to the conclusion that the Son is also God and thus can speak on the Father's behalf with an authority the prophets never possessed. Alright. To celebrate a special occasion, my husband took me to a local art gallery and said I could choose a painting as a gift. I picked out a small picture of a brook flowing through the forest. The stream bed, the stream bed, sorry, the stream bed, looks like that should have been two words, but the stream bed took up most of the canvas, and because of this, much of the sky was excluded from the picture. However, the stream's reflection revealed the location of the sun, the treetops, and the haze, hazy atmosphere. The only way to see the sky was to look at the surface of the water. Jesus is like the stream in a spiritual sense. 
when we want to see what God is like, we look at Jesus. The writer of Hebrews said he's the exact representation of God's being. Although we can learn facts about God through direct statements in the Bible such as God is love, we can deepen our understanding by seeing the way God would act if faced with the same problems we have on earth. Being God in human flesh, this is what Jesus has shown us. The temptation of Jesus. In temptation, Jesus revealed God's holiness. Confronting spiritual darkness, he demonstrated God's authority. Wrestling with people's problems, he showed us God's wisdom. In his death, he illustrated God's love. Although we can't grasp everything about God, he's limitless and we're limited in our thinking. We can be certain of his character when we look at Jesus. What other characteristics do you see in Jesus? From which Bible stories do you get these thoughts? All right, let us pray. Dear Lord, I come to you today to say thank you. Thank you for this blessed day that you have given to us again. Thank you for all the blessings you bestow upon me. Thank you for allowing me to have Aaliyah and Isabella for the last week. And for the next couple of days, they will still remain with me. Lord, and I thank you for that. Dear God, thank you for making a way for us to know you. Help us to grow closer to you by looking at Jesus as an example. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I thank you for praying with me. And thank you for joining me today. My name is Athena. This is Daily Devotionals with Athena. I hope you enjoyed the devotional today. Um, tomorrow is Sunday, so I will do my children's ministry. And... Monday, it will probably be later on in the day when I get my recordings done and get them up online. But we will be reading from Matthew 13 on Monday for our daily devotional. And with that, that is all I have for everybody today. Once again, my name is Athena. This is Daily Devotionals with Athena. And I am coming to you from my home in Pegs, Oklahoma. And I hope everybody has a wonderfully blessed day and blessed rest of your weekend. If I don't see you tomorrow with the children's ministry, I will see you again on Monday, I hope. And until then, I'm going to say, have a blessed day.